So for one end, I have a de-authenticator watch, which is a special watch, you can scan access points and station. I have my laptop, I have my TP-Link extender, and let's see what we can do. First, let's scan the station and access points. And at the end, 17 and eight, no problem, okay. Let's go back. Let's now select the access point. We have the TP link, as we said, here it is, and they're not for you. I will choose them both. Now we go to attack, DF, start. I do a trick, we can see that it's trying to connect, it's not successful yet, because it's under attack. Hey everyone, it's Yaniv Hoffman here, back with another video, and this time a nice tweet for many of you that ask to know more about the Distike Deauter watch. Not many of you know, but I'm a real enthusiast about watches and mainly mechanical watches with great appreciation to the level of engineering and complications along with the art related. I have even a nice collection of them as well, which maybe in the future I will speak about since it might be one of the last elements that are not connected to the internet. Thus none Eckable. With that said, I was always intrigued by digital watches, especially after seeing them in the movies. So it was no brainer to buy this watch and connect it to my second passion about cybersecurity. And what we have here is a Distike Deauter watch, version 4. So what is it? And devices like this Tyke watch or any similar device running the Deauter tool work by using Deauter authentication frames to tell a device to disconnect from a Wi-Fi network. In simple words, you are basically getting someone's phone or laptop to quit being connected. At its core, it is just an ASP8266, which is a low-cost microchip with built-in TCP IP networking software and microcontroller capability. This chip is in the tons of tech, and if you have Wi-Fi light bulbs, you probably have several of these chips in your home right now. On top of the chip, there is a little screen and battery that runs a simple deauter tool written by a programmer called Spacehome which is, by the way, a very cool uh, project, and I will leave the link in the description so you can look it up. With this watch, you can kick off any device of a 2.4 giga Wi-Fi network. So what can it do? So as I said before, the Distike Deauter watch can knock a device off its Wi-Fi network, which is very annoying, right? Unless you want to annoy your neighbor, by the way. You can also do a beacon attack, which lets you create a fake access point with names of your choice, or a probe attack, which can be used to confuse Wi-Fi trackers. It lets you monitor Wi-Fi traffic, and of course also a clock with NTP time server synchronization, and a powerful laser pointer, because if you are already wearing something that looks like that, you may as well take it to its logical conclusion. By the way, I didn't find this uh, laser uh, beacon, I'm still uh, searching. Now, like all ESP8266 development boards, you can also get it to run other software if that is your thing. It should be worth nothing, however, that the ESP8266 chip only works on 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, so the script doesn't pose a risk to every network. So how much of a threat is it in reality? And to be honest, very minor. The idea behind it is to bring attention to a huge flow in all their Wi-Fi implementation and offer a tool to test against them. 
Now today, many new routers do have a protection against this with a feature called protected management frames. I tried it on my uh, routers. Of course, it was uh, protected. It's a new one. I used an old one and I used a 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi and it worked. There are still a ton of older devices out there, so you can definitely wreck some EVOC, although the attack doesn't do much by itself other than force you to log in again. Now, more seriously, a deauthor tool like this could be used to bump a target of a legitimate network and onto an attacker-controlled network to set up an injection attack, making it the first step in a very nasty chain. But again, Please, if you do use it, use it for ethical hacking and to learn how to protect yourself, nothing else. And just to reiterate, there is nothing novel or special about the watch itself. The watch just runs a script that you can put on any ESP8266 board, which usually costs around $3 on Amazon or AliExpress versus the $183 that I paid. So. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short and brief uh, video. And if you'd like to see more of these uh, kinds in more depth, please let me know. Until then, see you.